Hey, what's going on? Amir Haddad, the Tycoon Trader here. Welcome to another video on options trading strategies. In this video, we're going to be discussing a strategy that I'm surprised it's being marketed as a beginner strategy everywhere, where in fact it's not. This strategy is none other than the collar or sometimes called protective collar. So let's get started. Basically what a collar is, it's a combination of a covered call and a protective put. In other words, it consists of three components long 100 shares of the underlying asset, one long out of the money put for downside protection, and one short out of the money call to collect premium to finance the purchase of the put option. And both options are usually in the same expiration period. Now a caller is one of those strategies that doesn't get much love or use between professional traders due to its lack of practicality. In other words, the only motivation they usually have for using a caller is maybe to avoid earnings dilemma. So they buy a protective out of the money put and sell an out of the money call to finance it. So eventually they end up with a total of a small debit or a credit and then later after earnings, if they're still decidedly bullish, they can buy the short call back. So let's have a look at the market outlook of a caller. Now in theory, a caller indicates that you're looking for a slight rise in the stock but also worried about a decline. However, it doesn't make sense to think of a caller in this particular way. In other words, this is not the true motive to using a caller. The way I look at a caller is that it's very similar to a protective put. The only difference, however, is that I'm not willing to pay too much for the put option. That's why I sell a call against it. As for your risk reward, they're both limited by your strike prices. In fact, the lower strike price is called the floor and the upper strike price is called the ceiling and the stock is quote-unquote collared between these two strikes. So on the downside, your maximum loss is limited to the stock purchase price minus the put strike price. But you also have to factor in the difference between the debit paid for the put and the credit received from the call. In other words, if the difference was a debit, you add that to your loss and if it's a credit, you simply subtract it. Your maximum profit potential is also limited and depends on the same factor I've just mentioned, except that you add any premium and subtract any debit paid. So to calculate your maximum profit potential, it's basically the call strike minus the stock purchase price plus the premium received or minus the premium paid. Your break-even point can be calculated as the stock purchase price plus or minus the premium paid or received. However, keep in mind that if the stock was acquired long time in the past, this formula is irrelevant. Moving on to the Greeks, now typically when you trade a caller, your current position is going to be somewhere in the middle, so basically you're going to have a slightly positive delta. Time decay has a neutral effect as we have both a long and a short option, but if you want to be more specific, we're going to have a positive theta when the position is profitable and a negative theta when it's at a loss. Now volatility has also a neutral effect on this strategy. Remember that you have both a short and a long position. So the effects of implied volatility shifts may offset each other to a large degree. Now before I show you an example, one way of using a caller is by buying a leap put option and keep selling calls against it to reduce the cost basis. This way you can benefit from volatility swings by selling when implied volatility is high. However, this might not be the most efficient way, but it's still something that you may want to consider. And that's also the reason why I think the caller is not a good strategy for a beginner. But anyway, let's have an example to show you how to actually set up a caller. Alright guys, I know I'm going to show you how to set up the uh, caller strategy. The uh, stock that we're going to be using is actually uh, Twitter. So, uh, if I take a closer look right here, you can see that uh, we have a clear cut support area right around the uh, almost, uh, you know, uh, 14 level. So uh, what I'm planning to do is, uh, is, uh, is buy the stock and, uh, and also buy a put as a protection, uh, you know, just in case uh, for, uh, for any downside risk. And also sell a call option against it uh, to finance the, the purchase of this uh, put option. So if we go to the trade tab, I'm going to be using the uh, the July options since they have almost uh, one month till expiration. So uh, 
Just like with most uh, option strategies, uh, you can send it in a single order by simply right clicking anywhere, then buy, and then color with stock. Then you can change the strike prices, uh, you know, uh, as you like. However, this is not the way I like to do it uh, because in this way it will only give you or, or show you the, the total debit paid without showing you the actual cash flow and how much each option costs. So uh, the way I do it is first we have to change the order type to uh, either blast all or maybe a first trigger sequence. So uh, the first order I want to do is, uh, is buy the stock. Then the second one is, uh, is buy the put option. And in this example, I'm going to be buying the 12 strike price. And the, and the last thing is, is I want to sell the, uh, a call option against it. So in this example, I'm going to be selling the, uh, the 16. All right, so let's analyze the trade. Alright, so as you can see, this is with what the uh, caller uh, looks like. Uh, let me actually unlock this one. Our maximum profit potential is almost $200, and uh, our maximum loss potential is also uh, almost, you know, uh, $200. And as you can see here, uh, the uh, the put option that we're buying is almost, uh, you know, uh, we, we're buying it for free, basically because of the uh, of the call option that we're selling. We're buying this for 15 cents and we're selling this one for uh, for 19 cents. So uh, let's take a clo uh, closer look at the break even point. If we send it to the chart, as you can see, the break even point is almost, you know, uh, right, uh, right at uh, the uh, support level, uh, which is perfect. Uh, because uh, from this chart, uh, you know, I don't like predicting the market's uh, direction. But, uh, but I think this is a strong support area and, uh, you know, uh, it might bounce off of it and uh, we might have, uh, you know, uh, a strong rally. Now, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, my first uh, price target would be at this area, you know, at this uh, previous, uh, previous highs, also at this uh, falling window. Uh, and if we blast it through this uh, resistance, uh, my target would be right around this area. Now, if your outlook is is very bullish, uh, you can uh, you can maybe change the striker price of the call option from 16 and make it 17. You know, uh, just to uh, to increase your uh, upside potential. Now, that of course uh, is uh, is gonna cost you some uh, money because uh, the uh, the put option that you're buying is gonna be more expensive than the call option that you're selling. So, if we take a closer look here. This is the call option, the striker price is 16 and we're receiving 19 cents. So uh, if we change it to 17, you see you're only receiving uh, 9 cents. However, your, uh, your, upward, uh, your upward side potential uh, has increased to almost, you know, uh, $300. And, uh, and your downside is, is almost still the same. So uh, that's a trade-off that you're going to have to decide on. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below, so you'll be notified when I post new videos. And if you think you're ready to take your trading experience to a whole new level, make sure to join the rest of the top traders on Team Tycoon by checking my ultimate strategy course. I'll put a link in the description. Until then, trade safely, smartly, and successfully.